Here at Orchard Hub, we are visual learners. Now, that probably comes as no surprise to you, given the products that we build. Inside of our own HubSpot account, we're always looking for the opportunities to visualize data. And for that reason, we love the deal board. There's something on that deal board that we really want, and that's to be able to see time in each deal stage, so how long each deal has spent in each deal stage. There is a couple of workarounds. There's not a perfect solution, but we found a couple of workarounds that are working for us, and hopefully this might help you and your team. This is the visual we're ideally looking for. Why is this visual helpful? Well, when you can see the time in each deal stage, it helps us identify which deals need a bit more attention and which deals may have got stuck. So it's focusing our time on the right deals. We're not the only ones trying to figure out time and deal stage. As it turns out, it's quite a popular topic inside the HubSpot community. There is some gold within this community post where some other HubSpot users have highlighted how to get time and deal stage into reports, including a blog which a HubSpot employee has written, uh, which we will share in the comments. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to get this into the deal board view. So just a quick reminder, this is the deal board and this is the visual we're going for. The very first thing we need to do is create a custom field inside of HubSpot, which is a date field and we're calling it entered deal stage. You have to do this because at the moment there is no time in deal stage property inside of HubSpot. This is something HubSpot have acknowledged and are working on, so we're keeping our eyes on that. But in the meantime, we create this field so that we get a timestamp for each individual deal stage. We use the field type date picker. Now you've created a custom property for time in deal stage. You can then use that in a workflow like the one we've created here, which will set a timestamp once a deal moves into a new stage. It's important to set re-enrollment as being on so that every time a deal moves, a timestamp is added. Now you have the property and it's being updated by the workflow, it's time to work on the visual. Inside the settings section of HubSpot, you do have the ability to edit the deal card. The downside is you're only allowed two properties visible on the deal card. So if you want entered deal stage to be on the deal card, which ideally we do, you have to drop either amount or close date. So in this example, we're gonna drop close date, giving us very close to the visual that we were looking for. We used this for a month and dropped close date and had entered deal stage on there. And we just missed close date too much. It's too important um, to be missing from the deal view. This might work for some of you, um, but what we ended up doing was using filters instead. So by setting up a filter using the entered deal stage property we created, we can now use the time periods inside a HubSpot like this quarter or last quarter. As you can see, this deal is a problem because it's been in over 90 days. It's in last quarter. Um, and also the time periods below it, so you've got 7, 14 days, etc. Which in essence helps us with our original goal, which is a visual to see which deals need to be worked on, which deals have got stuck in deal stages and need some attention. As I mentioned at the start, this is a workaround. There is no perfect solution for this inside of HubSpot today. However, we will keep tabs on it with on the HubSpot side and if there's any updates, we'll let you know in the comments. Um, but we hope this helped you and your team. And if you have any suggestions for us, then please don't hesitate to message us or comment. And hey, if you're a visual learner and your sales team are visual learners like us, then check out our HubSpot apps, Orgchart Hub and Geomapper. We're HubSpot customers ourselves, only building for HubSpot customers. So the integrations are super tight. Thanks again and speak soon. Bye bye.